looking for is using your sex toys. Reed already, our keyboardist, uh, decided he wanted to uh, make love to one of the, the blowout dolls. So the other day, we were all drunk on the bus, and uh, he actually made love to the, the blowout doll in front of a bunch of people. Come on. Uh, we filmed yeah. it. It was pretty yeah. funny. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 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 I've, I've heard a lot of road stories before, but never the blow-up doll in front of an audience. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. used a lot of lube. There's a lot of lube. Yeah. We have uh, a lube, actually. Right here, there's a lube. There's a bottle of it right there. Boy, yeah. that's when you wake up the next day, and you know you had a good night. You just kind of rattle in your head. Oh, man. I had sex with a blow-up doll in front of the whole thing. So when you guys aren't uh, having sex with blow-up dolls, anything else you like to do in front of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like real people. Yeah, we like, we like real people with uh, real stuff, but, uh, you know, just jamming out, playing shows every night. It's, it's like, it's good having the girls on stage, because then you can kind of just, like, be like, okay, you, 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 as they're all walking off stage at the end. Right, right. Yeah, right, right. You know, let's be honest, you guys are living the dream. I mean, how old are you guys? Oh, we're all in our 20s. Wow. In yeah. your 20s, living the dream. In the 20s. On a bus, on what I would call probably the biggest tour of the summer. And then on the side, you're doing headlining uh, club dates of your own. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really hard to get much better than this with a new album. I mean, come on. Yeah. Life is good. Yeah, we're excited, man. Very, very, very lucky. If you guys were on a tour bus right now doing this radio interview, by the way, thanks to this. You guys have always been great at 94.1 and the Jones County Fair. It's, it's, you guys like doing this stuff, and that's what's great. And to me, that's what's going to keep you guys going further and further to the top. You're friendly with the media. You're very friendly with your fans. And you guys just like to have uh, a really good time. But if it weren't for music, what do you think you two would be doing right now? Mm. Hard. Well, that's yeah. a tough question. Yeah, we never had backup plans, right? So that it's hard to like. The last job I had before we started this, remember oh, that one? Oh God! I uh. <laughs> no, we might as well say it now. I, I got. I was getting paid to uh, do favors for women for a little while. I don't believe. I was come there. on, really? I was there. I was there. Yeah. How much can you get paid for that? I got 300 bucks. Seriously? Yeah. Now, what do these women look like? Oh, you know what? You know, <laughs> they, all, they all pretty bad? Uh, Boy, it's kind of like that movie Deuce Bigelow. Yeah, you were yeah. Deuce. Yeah, yeah for, for a small few yeah. there, yeah. Wow, that's, wow. That's I mean, it's good good work for you to get it, I guess. Yeah, so if this doesn't work bad, I'll go, go back to that. I was a yeah. test patient for Were you really? Doctors. You know what happened? Huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Doctors who, uh, from India coming to Canada who are trying to be heart surgeons again and they practice on, on me doing all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah. So another tough question as we wrap up, what's the future like for you guys? New album, you're on the road. I mean, really uh, going up, but where do you see yourself in 10 years? Are you doing what Nickelback did Absolutely. right now? Yeah, a lot, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, just keep using the, the My Darkest Day. The time is better. There's one right behind you. There it is. Oh, there is. Oh, it's right here. Wow, we always is. keep one in the window still, just in case. You guys don't mind if I keep this? No, it's all yours. 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 It's going to be 70, 30 chicks in there. We know that. <laughs> all right, well, the fans are driving over. Anything you can say to those uh, fans that are coming to see you guys? Because I've, we've talked to a lot uh, through request lines and things like that. There's a lot of folks that are coming just to see you guys. They're in their car right now. Anything you can say to those fans? Oh, just thank you for all your support, and uh, we're going to put on a rock show for you. Thank you. Yep, thanks a lot. All right, that is Maddie and Sal. We're on the bus just hours away from the big rock and roll show. Tickets are still available. You can just visit the website, our website.